All right, this is pre-calculus, unit three, lesson five, linear absolute value and reciprocal functions. Linear absolute value and reciprocal functions. Okay, and uh, what we're looking at is classes or families of functions. And there is a concept known as a parent function for a, for a given classes of functions. In order to understand parent functions, we first need to understand transformations. That is, that we can take a parent function and modify it or change it to fit a bunch of circumstances. Let me take uh, an unrelated function here, y equals sine x. And you're familiar with the shape, it creates a, a, what we call a sinusoidal curve. But I'm going to conduct several transformations on this so that you can see what the effect is of modifying or changing or adding parameters to the parent function. So I'm going to graph here y equals, say, 2 sine x. And you can see that the amplitude is stretched, right? So multiplying uh, the whole function by a multiplier stretches or modifies it vertically. It stretches or compresses vertically. If I use 1 half instead of 2, it compresses it, right? So it's still acting in the vertical. So the vertical compression or vertical stretching, OK? I can, in fact, add in Desmos a slider here. And I can see what effect modifying or changing that. As A gets bigger, it gets stretched more and more. As A gets smaller, it gets compressed more and more. As A gets to zero, it gets flat. And as A goes negative, it gets inverted. Right? So when we, when we have a negative multiplier, it flips it. Right? So all vertical, vertical modification. Okay? Now what happens when I multiply the X itself? by a multiplier like 2. Now, notice when we multiply the, the whole function by 2, it stretched it vertically. Well, what's happening here is actually the opposite. When we multiply the x, the x term, the independent variable, by, by a, a multiplier like 2, it becomes compressed. So it actually acts backwards, right? And what it's doing is it's treating each x as if it's twice as far out. Right, and so, so it's it's in effect going to have the opposite effect. If I put one half, right, it becomes stretched horizontally. So if I put an A modifier here and put a slider here, as A gets bigger, it becomes more and more compressed. As A gets smaller, it becomes more and more stretched out. And as A becomes zero, it becomes flat again because sine of zero is zero. But as A becomes negative, it becomes inverted. Inverted this time left to right, flipped horizontally, which for the sine function is pretty much the same because it's what we call an odd function. All right, so that's the effect of multiplying the x by something here. Let's now do some addition. What if I add A to add something to x, to the whole function? It takes it and shifts it translates it, slides it up, right? And if I put in a slider, you can, as A goes higher, the whole thing gets shifted up. As A goes lower, the whole thing gets shifted down, OK? Now, what if I put in the multiplier, or the, the, the add end, inside? So as I go x plus 1, the whole thing gets shifted one unit to the left. Remember, opposite things happen. So add 1 to x. It's treating all the x's as if they were one further to the right than they really are. So it, in fact, translates it to the left. Okay. And if I put in an a, as a gets bigger, the graph moves to the left. As a gets smaller, the graph moves to the right. Okay. Now this is true of all the functions. So let's let's take a look at the parent functions that we're to concentrate on, which are linear, absolute value, and reciprocal functions. The the parent function for a linear function is y equals x. Okay, and we can modify that by putting things in front of it. Like I can put two x, right, which stretches it vertically. It makes it twice. Let's let's put it here y equals 2x. It makes it twice as tall, stretches it vertically, right? Or if I put a parenthesis around the x and put a 2 here, it, 
it actually compresses it horizontally, which has the same effect as as um, as stretching it vertically. Okay. As I put a negative in front of the x, it flips it horizontal or, or across the the y the x-axis, right? As I put a negative on the x in the parentheses, it flips it on the x-axis, which again has the same effect for this linear function. Okay, and as I add something to x, it gets shifted to the left, right? And as I add something to the whole function, it gets shifted up. Now, of course, adding to the whole function and adding to x really are the same thing because it doesn't matter whether I add in, in the parentheses or, more, or whatever. So if you can imagine y equals mx plus b, that slope-intercept form, right? You now know what each of these do to the parent function y equals x. The b is a modifier that moves it up and down, up and down, right? The m is a modifier that stretches it vertically or compresses it vertically. If it goes negative, it flips it vertically, okay? So that's the parent function. The parent function of all linear functions is y equals x. The parent function of all uh, absolute value functions is y equals the absolute value of x. Now you may recall what absolute value does. Absolute value means, and the actual meaning is magnitude or distance from zero. So the distance from zero of negative five is five units. The distance from zero of positive five is five units. So in effect, it has the effect of changing all negatives to positives. Now you remember what happens here. Well, let's compare this to the original function, y equals x. Okay, y equals x, as you see on the graph, goes up to the right and it continues. Imagine all these negative values that are below the x-axis all these negative values being flipped to positive values, and then you get the blue line, okay? So that's the effect of the absolute value. It takes all negatives and flips it. It flips anything below the x-axis to above the x-axis, okay? And then, of course, we can modify that parent function. So when you see a cusp, when you see a corner, chances are you're talking absolute value. So let's say absolute value of x, Okay, and if I put a multiplier in front, it becomes two times taller. If I put a multiplier inside, it becomes half as wide. If I put an added addition inside, it moves two to the left. Now here you're gonna see some difference. If I put two on the outside, it add, moves the whole thing up. And the corner is also called the vertex, right? So the coordinate of the vertex is very important here. So if I say x minus 3, x plus 2, that has a vertex coordinate of 3, 2, right? 3 to the right, remember, anything modifying x is opposite to ville, right? Negative you'd think would be left, but it's actually right. The plus 2 does what you think it would do, moves it up. So it's 3, 2, right? Okay. And so that's, that's very important. Now, just to show you here, absolute value combined with other functions, y equals sine x looks like this. y equals the absolute value of sine x, takes all the stuff below the x-axis, and flips it. So the green is just all these positive humps, right? None of it goes negative. Any of the negative stuff gets flipped over to positive. Okay. So y equals absolute value of x, look for the vertex. And then the final one here is uh, reciprocal functions. And the parent function for reciprocal functions is y, over, y, y equals 1 over x. Okay, And the key feature of this is that x, when it becomes very small, when the denominator of a fraction approaches 0, the fraction gets infinitely large. Imagine, if you will, if you will uh, as as the denominator, the, the, the size of the pieces becomes infinitely small. The, 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 the numerator appears much larger in comparison. So 0.1, if x were 0.1, 1 over 0.1 is 10. 0.01, 1 over 0.01 is 100, and, and, and so on, all right? So it, it goes off to zero in the negative side, as it approaches zero from the negative side, it goes off to negative infinity. As it approaches zero from the right side, it goes off to positive infinity. And it's undefined when x equals zero, because you can't divide by zero. And again, we can, we can say 
take all these functions and modify them. So we can add something to the x, and it moves two to the two to the left, right, because it's opposite. Add something to the whole function, it moves two up. And multiply the whole function by two, it becomes two times taller. And multiply x by two, and it becomes twice, half as wide, right? And so all of these modifications are possible, but the parent function is y equals one over x. Hopefully that makes sense.